I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am fertile. My fertility goddess. Hello beautiful fertility goddess. Welcome to your timeless spirit baby message. You are here because your spirit baby has a message for you, a message of guidance, maybe confirmation, okay, maybe giving you some insight for what's to come, okay, uh, or like I said, guidance for your current energy. Now, I have three different piles here. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. You may have already selected your pile from the cover photo of the video um, or from the beginning of the video, but just in case you haven't, really take a deep breath, close your eyes, and connect with your intuition. Um, and see which pile is calling you, okay? I don't have crystals or anything else on it. I want you to connect directly with the cards, okay? Directly with the energy surrounding each card. Um, so once again, we have pile one, pile two, pile three. Hopefully you can find the timestamps down below in the comment section or in the description box. Sometimes I forget. Thank you to those who put the comment, the times in the comments for me. I appreciate you so, so much <laughs> because I forget often, okay? Hopefully I didn't though this time, um, but either way, I'll see you in your pile and get ready. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. Welcome to your pile. If you selected pile number one, then this is indeed your reading. This card here will be the first message that spirit has for you right now in regards to your fertility journey. This message is for those who are actively trying to conceive, or maybe you're curious about what's to come in your journey. It may be surrounding um, your current energy, your recent past, and your near future. So please take the messages as they resonate, as this is a general read. If you're interested in getting a um what is it a um i can't think of it what it's called personal read <laughs> from me um then you can click the link down below in my description box it should be one of the first links at the top um so that you can book a read with me okay and that one will be a lot more personal personalized to your journey and messages from your spirit baby so we have the first card here i do want to mention um on the bottom of the deck i see the three of swords in reverse so there could be this message could resonate around healing from grief or healings from um a like a heartbreak or some sort of disappointment here or frustration but let's just see what spirit has to say that could be a side message for someone or confirmation that this is indeed your reading if you are indeed healing from in the process of healing from um, a pregnancy loss or from a um, some sort of grief or disappointment or frustration you may have had in your journey in the recent past now let's see here what the other two messages are that will be for you okay so we have this one and then we have this one they flipped over but I feel like this is the order um, that they are meant to be in uh, so let's flip them over let's flip them back over <laughs> so your first wow okay so your first card is the two of wands your second card is the two of pentacles and your third card is the hanged unicorn okay so um i do see i said wild wow because on the bottom of the deck after shuffling we have the three of wands which is showing me growth and expansion but this is literally the card that comes right after this one here which is a two of wands which is showing me progress as well okay so i feel like in your recent past you may have been trying to um maybe balance some things out. That's the first thing that's coming to mind. You may be working on balancing things out in your current energy as well. Um, but I feel like in your recent past, you may have had to make a decision, okay? Um, I feel like you had, either you were in a place where you felt content comfortable um, and you wanted more you knew that you had to move out of this place but you just didn't know which direction to take um, this almost feels like stagnant energy especially with the hanged unicorn here okay it's almost as if you have to take or moving forward you'll have to take a new perspective on um, your journey or view things in a different way in order for you to move away from this stagnant energy I feel like where you were previously you were kind of in a stagnant space in a stuck space or in a a come like I said comfortable space content space and you're you're like itching are ready for growth okay now for some of you guys I'm hearing that this may be revolving around your health or be revolving around money or finances um, and maybe you were like in this 
like one position of your journey, like working on building something within your, your journey, okay, or within your life, whether it's like you wanted to secure, um, like get your body as healthy as possible, or maybe you felt like you were stuck in a phase where you were building your finances, preparing your nest egg for growing a family, or maybe you were in the, you've been in this long process of trying to move into a new home, okay, and so, but there's something that you were in, like one specific space for a very long time, I feel like, and now that you've conquered that, now that you have um, achieved that desire, and if you haven't yet, know that it's coming, because I do see that here, um, you're ready to add on something else, which is your TTC journey, or maybe some other form of stability, okay, coming in here, but I do feel like Spirit is saying um, that because you have conquered your previous task, it is time to move on to a new one, okay, um, and in order for you to move away from this stagnant energy, away from what you were doing previously, um, you may have had to see a, have a different view on your journey, on life, on your ability to, to experience growth and expansion. For some of you guys, you got so, I feel like you got so caught up in creation, are so caught up in, um, like, building that you felt so comfortable in the space that you were at okay or you may have this could even be your current energy and so spirit is like okay it's time for you to move away from this this space here because you've gotten too comfortable like for example if someone is um, building a nest egg or they're building, you know, they're working, working, working hard, hard, hard to make enough money for a specific um, goal. And then they hit that goal and then they still stay in that same cycle of working hard because they're just so used to that, that they've now, re they now rely on that energy. They now um, are stuck in that cycle. But spirit is like, okay, it's time for you to balance out your priorities, okay, and move away from what you have already conquered because you've already achieved that one goal, that one desire. Now it's time to do something different okay um now please take the messages as they resonate they may not be for you they may not be career they may be in regards to something different they may be in regards to your health or your home life moving traveling okay um preparing for your um, a procedure in your fertility journey or preparing to take certain medication maybe you've been taking medication to prepare your body for pregnancy um and you've been doing it month on like month after month after month um and now it's time for you to move on to something else maybe now it's time for you to have a certain procedure or maybe now it's time for you to make some other changes or shifts in your journey um but i just take the messages as they resonate for you um i just just the general energy that i'm feeling here now with the page of pentacles being here clarifying the two of wands it says an excellent opportunity would be offered to you scholarships are the pursuit of education time to get to work okay so i do see here that you are being offered an opportunity to move away from um like or right here it says relocation or travel so it could end up definitely be around like moving or a new home but i do see here that you are soon or maybe recently have been offered an opportunity to move and travel away from like i said where you were once where you once were now what's interesting to me here is we have the two of pentacles which is showing like the ups and downs in the background with the water um, and the rocky ships and then here we also have the same thing we have the ups and downs and the rockiness happening here so right now you may be in this energy where you are i feel like this may be your current energy where you're trying to bring things into balance could be why you're looking at this video looking for some advice some guidance from your baby because you're like i feel kind of off i feel kind of um in this space of like trying to get it together okay like i need i need i need some assistance i need some guidance i need something here um but your little one really wants you to know that there will be light at the end of this tunnel right now you may be having tunnel vision um actually i feel like you're not having tunnel vision i feel like you are moving out of that space of tunnel vision and that's why things feel rocky because you no longer have just one focus you have multiple so you're you're you have like the side vision tunnel vision you have like the whole thing right you're able to see everything from your peripheral views to your front views okay top bottom everything and that may be causing some imbalance within your energy or around you but know that this is temporary this is not indefinite this is something that is a part of the process okay 
And soon, I feel like you are going to move into this space where you feel confident, you feel brave, you feel strong enough, okay, to move towards the ne next phase of your journey. I'm going to pull some Oracle cards because I want to see here um, what other messages we have for you coming through. Um, I do see the with the next phase of your journey we have the three of wands like i said on the bottom of the deck and we also have the emperor below that which is showing me the space of stability the space of um macro macrocosm i feel like that is um i'm sorry i skipped over but i was saying you i feel i see the space that you're heading towards is a space of stability that is surrounding growth and expansion okay with the three of wands moving out of your comfort zone okay moving away from things that were stagnant taking new actions okay the ship your ships are coming in okay so you're being taken to a new space um something that is going to help like i said bring in this growth here it may feel a bit uncomfortable because you've been comfortable for a while right you've been and it may not necessarily be comfortable it may just be familiar you're, you've been in a very familiar space now it's time to put a little more fire into your your actions it's time to really um, like I said change your view your outlook you're shifting perspectives you're shifting your vision here um, and so once you what you were once doing is now stable is what spirit is saying or you're stepping into the space of stability so prepare okay to move into this space where you know pregnancy is possible or move into this space where growth is possible and expansion with the word macro cosm here it makes me think of I'm not sure what the definition is um, I'm not gonna look at the book here but what it makes me feel like is like the whole picture okay like you're seeing the whole picture the big picture not step by step not not you know dot by dot but just the enti in, in entirety so I feel like what spirit is saying is like now there is this well-roundedness surrounding your journey well-roundedness surrounding your health surrounding your mental you know health surrounding your your physical body your spiritual body your finances your stability um, with the emperor here this literally could be any one of those things here okay this could literally be um, maybe surrounding your relationship with your partner or your partner's health even okay with the emperor here that can represent dad so it could be your partner's health here but know that you are stepping into this space of like it's almost like what's next right um you're stepping into this new space this new plane we also have the sun okay and we also have the ace of pentacles below that and the eight of wands so this is showing me that this pregnancy if pregnancy is what you're trying to achieve at this time is coming in quickly okay the three of wands represents the mom, the dad, the baby, right? Are you your partner and your baby? So I do see if pregnancy is what you are trying to achieve, it is coming in very quickly. Now, um, Spirit is asking you to be receptive, okay, to um, the people they place in your life that are going to help guide you along this journey, to the ideas that they place in your mind, okay, that are going to help lead you as well, um, and to the actions that you are feel urged to take, okay? Um, because those are also going to help you get to the space of the sun, happiness, optimism, joy, ace of pentacles, the energy of implantation, our, um, you know, pregnancy, planting seeds, um, and taking on this new opportunity that Spirit says is going to be offered to you very soon, okay? Um, now, the other thing that I'm seeing here, uh, what was it, Spirit? It was in regards to babies, okay? So I do see here that there could be a, a possibility of twins, okay? I see actually two boys here with the two of wands, and I see two girls here with the two of pentacles, okay? For some of you guys, this may be your first baby, and this may be a baby boy, um, but for others, I do feel like you may be having twins, um, two boys, or you could have uh, twin girls okay as well um in terms of gender that's what's coming through here okay um i see both so let's see here what else let's get a few more messages before we close out your reading i hope this brings you some guidance goddess i hope this, this helps you kind of see where things are going um in your journey you know what you can expect moving forward um and hopefully helps you feel confident about you know having the courage to take the first step so and so that you i mean so that you, is it so that you know, having the courage to take the first step, knowing, there we go, knowing that you will be supported 
um, the rest of the way, okay? And that you are supported through the first step as well. Um, let's see here. Let's see. I'm hearing spirits say, I can only do so much. <laughs> I can only do so much. I can only guide you so much, okay? Yeah, we have imbalances here, okay? So there could have been some imbalances or that could be what you're facing right now, either emotionally, mentally, or physically here. Um, but these imbalances, I feel like, are leveling out, okay? We have almost there. And then we also have six days, six weeks, and six months. So within the, I feel like for you, it's within the next six days or six weeks here um, is when you may start to notice that there is a change, okay, in your um, in your journey. Um, in the meantime, too, is what I'm hearing um, is that you may also experience a delay, okay. So between now and conceiving. Okay, there may be a minor delay. You may be in a pause period again, okay, because you have now added in something different or you've changed your focus, your shift to something different, and now you're working on that, okay? So maybe before you were taking certain actions to bring balance into your path, and now you're really like living with the balanced energy. For example, if you were taking actions before to bring in balance to your body, now you're living with this balanced body, but now you're learning the signs and signals of fertility for you. So there's another waiting period that where I feel like you're gonna be learning, you're gonna be learning more um, about your body, you're gonna be learning more about this new action or task that you're now taking on, um, whatever it may be for you. And it may be about six days to six weeks where or in between that period where you, um, before you conceive or before you experience growth and expansion here and in full on stability and ready for you know pregnancy now on the bottom of the deck we also have love yourself time to nurture time to nurture yourself and emotional healing okay so i feel like this is a message for you at this time um it says that it's time for you to nurture yourself okay so during this period during this um this waiting period that's coming up and during this balancing period the absolutely balancing act this balancing period right now where you're balancing out your priorities or um, bringing balance to your body love yourself okay do things that um help you feel comforted um uh, do things that nurtures your body, nurtures your mind, your spirit, and your soul, okay? Bring things that bring it emotional healing as well. We did have the three of swords in the um, the very beginning for you guys. So I do feel like that is playing a part here when it comes to the emotional healing message. Um, this is a journey, okay? This is a journey. This is not something that is linear. So give yourself time and space as you heal and as you prepare your body for pregnancy because that's really what it feels like here preparation for pregnancy some of you guys may even use or connect with a natural healer okay so this is going to an herbalist a nutritionist working with an acupuncturist um, maybe even getting some chiropractic work a masseuse okay um, did I say natural path already maybe someone who is also you know trained medically but also likes to subscribe to certain supplements or certain natural healing modalities okay or methods so that could be something that you choose to do or it could be something that you're doing at this time that may help you along your journey as well okay so that is what i have for you pile one hopefully it wasn't too long hopefully you got some guidance information here from your spirit babies um i said spirit babies there was definitely more than one here with me delivering these messages for some these two babies are yours okay like you'll be having twins or you may be having a back-to-back -back pregnancy our two babies are in your energy okay because i do feel two close little ones to uh, for a couple of you guys okay um and then for others like i said it's a singleton but there was definitely more than one baby here with me today um in this message so i hope this brought you some guidance and of course i'm sending you so much love light and baby dust please let me know in the comments how this resonates with you or what you got, were able to take away from it um and i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye hello my beautiful fertility goddesses who selected pile number two welcome to your reading now this is a spirit baby message that will be filled with love, filled with guidance and insight for your near future. Now these messages may revolve around your re recent past as well. Um, they can also revolve of course around your current energy, but they are, they are, they are general messages, okay, are collective messages for everyone. So please take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Um, and I also want to say this is for entertainment purposes only. I don't know why I feel like saying that this in this pile, but for some reason I need to, so I'm saying it. <laughs>
Now we do have um, your first card here already. We're gonna shuffle and get card number two and card number three. Now on the bottom of the deck, we do have the High Priestess, okay, which I feel like could be a theme for your read. The High Priestess can represent a hidden pregnancy, but it could also represent a hidden, um, something else being hidden, okay? Something being in the unknown space. Um, so, and also a message of trusting your intuition. So if you feel like there's something underlying that is going on with your body or going on in your journey, or possibly if there's a pregnancy that could be brewing, then listen to your intuition because it is not going to steer you wrong, okay? Um, and take action on your intuition. Listening is, you know, it's great, but it's not enough. <laughs> um, you have to take action on that, whatever that nudge, that intuitive nudge may be, and trust that it's from the divine, okay? Trust that it's from your higher self speaking to your body. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What are the second card, second and third cards here for pile number two? All right, so we have the second card. And then let's see what the third card will be. Thank you, Spirit, for the third card for pile number two. What is their message for their near future? Thank you, Spirit. All right. So we have three cards here for you. Oh, I love the bottom of a card. I mean, bottom of a deck. Love it. All right, so let's look at these messages. So the first card we have here is the Ace of Swords. So the first thing that I'm seeing here, you could be an air sign, okay? I don't know why that came through right now. Yep, we have like the Swords energy twice here. So you could be an air sign um, or your partner could be an air sign. You may even have a air sign baby. This is Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, okay? We also have the Eight of Cups here. So you could also have um, water placements as well with the Eight of Cups, okay? Maybe Pisces energy. But I am seeing here um, that there is something about an idea, something about um, an opportunity that's being given to you, or maybe in the recent past, you were given an opportunity to move forward with an idea, okay? Um, I do see that you took up took this offer, okay? I feel like you may have taken this offer from spirit. You may be in the process of moving, heading towards that um, that idea, okay? Um, because possibly in the past, there were some things that didn't align with you, or maybe you were starting to feel like what you're, you were currently doing wasn't working. Um, but I feel like this is, you're moving away from um, something that is, was no longer serving you in this current energy here. And I feel like it is because you had this idea or because there was an opportunity that was given to you. Now, this, excuse me, this opportunity that was given to you that may have been recently given to you or an idea that may have popped into your head um, could be surrounding a medical procedure. It could be surrounding like um, IVF, IUI, maybe going to the doctor in general, okay, connecting with a professional. This feels very medical, very um, like someone who is very authoritative, very educated, um, has a lot of knowledge. I feel like it's, that's what you are heading towards um, versus and it kind of feels a little sad, to be honest. It kind of feels like you're moving away from um, something that you thought was going to bring you happiness or you thought was going to bring you joy and into something um, that may you may have recently or didn't really agree on, okay? Like maybe you said, this is my going to be my last option. Or hopefully, um, for some of you guys, you may have been trying for a couple of months seeing this video. And maybe you're starting to think about maybe going to see a doctor because you're coming up on six months or you're coming up on a year. Um, and so it kind of feels like a little bit of sadness here surrounding moving away from this previous um, this previous energy. Now moving forward, we do have the Five of Swords. So I do see that there is this energy of disagreement that is surrounding your um, your near future. Okay, so it may be a bit difficult for you to move forward with this idea or move forward with this task um, because maybe you have multiple ideas that are flowing through your head. Maybe you have had a hard time making a decision on whether you really want to go through with this new idea or really want to go through with this procedure. Or maybe there's other, there could be other difficulties and blockages um, that may actually step like in between you taking action on this and it, you know, and it are in between you moving towards it and it actually happening like for example if this is like you going to see a fertility specialist for example this these blockages may involve like your insurance not covering so you having to save you know certain a certain amount of money to pay out of pocket or you know um, not being able to get seen right away because they're the um, the calendar their calendar is full they're fully booked for the month um so there could be like certain blockages or things that you may encounter moving forward here is what i feel like okay but 
but, 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 there's a big but because at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, okay? So this is the ultimate outcome. This is a celebration. This is happiness. This is joy. Um, this is pregnancy, okay? With the Three of Cups coming through, I do see pregnancy being your your uh, your full outcome here. Um, and we have the Two of Cups below that, which is showing me, wow, okay, which is showing me harmony and... Um, and showing me harmony between partnerships. So there's definitely like you finding the right mythology or you finding the right doctor, especially with this little, I forgot what that's called, but it's giving me doctor vibes there. But I feel like you're gonna find the right doctor, you're gonna find the right person or the right path that is aligned with this idea that spirit gave to you, okay? Um, that is indeed gonna lead you to victory. You may not see it right away, but it is something that is going to happen for you is what I see here and we have the star card which also shows me pregnancy after difficulty so if you have had previous difficulties or um, some of you guys maybe even had a miscarriage I see the rainbow here which is showing me that there could be a rainbow baby coming um, but there's definitely if you've been trying to conceive for a while um, like I said I felt sad energy like maybe you've been trying on your own or you've been trying um, naturally for some time and now you're like okay I need to um, you know, get some help. I need some assistance. Um, or maybe there are some other like sadness surrounding why you're moving away from a previous method here. I feel like there is healing coming in, okay? You are going to feel whole again. You are going to be able to have the baby that you want, okay? Um, it may be through, like I said, another method that wasn't originally thought about, but it is something that is going to help you conceive, okay? Now, let me see. I'm gonna pull a few more cards here. Um, let me put my cup over there. <laughs> I just hit my cup. So some of you guys may need to drink some water. Okay, drink some water. We do have the Eight of Cups there. Oh, okay, Spirit, I see. Um, with the Eight of Cups, Spirit is letting me know that little do you know, you're heading towards your ninth cup, okay? I just, like I said, knocked over my cup. Thank goodness it was empty. But, <laughs> but you're heading towards your ninth cup here, which is going to... Um, bring in this wish fulfillment okay you don't see it that way though all you see is the troubles ahead all you see are you know all oh, this is going to be I'm going to pay out of pocket or maybe I'm going to have to work more hours at work or now I have to find a new doctor or now I'm going to have a second doctor um, oh my gosh now this is going to take longer like you're seeing all this is like a very pessimistic outlook um, or maybe you and your partner disagree on like your personal partner maybe you want to do it but your partner doesn't or maybe you know your partner's like let's just you know um try a for a few more months or you know there's a disagreement there someone is not on the same page as the other but i do see the two of cups okay if this is your personal partner not being on board i do see that happening i do see your partner coming on board and you guys being in this very harmonious state you guys celebrating together possibly with another friend or family member um but also building your family here with the three of cups that's you your partner and your baby okay so once again i do see it happening for you i do see pregnancy occurring and whichever method this may be for you okay um and i did say like a procedure like iui ivf um but it could also be like maybe you're getting a procedure like an, H an hsg procedure um or maybe you are you know having certain other tests ran okay maybe there's some tests that you're going to have run um or possibly you're going to be using a donor or a surrogate okay but there's another mythology that's coming in through here um for you that spirit is showing me it's a part of your path okay um so listen to that intuition listen to those nudges there is definitely with the high priestess there could definitely be something hidden that you don't know about yet um and it could be why you're having certain tests ran or certain procedures done to kind of maybe they're going to look further into maybe they're going to do like an endometrial biopsy maybe they're going to look at your uterine lining or they're going to look at closer at your a closer look at your fallopian tubes a closer look at your ovaries maybe you're going to get an ultrasound done but all you could see okay all you feel like at this time or moving forward is that it's just going to take longer, right? It's going to take longer for me to get pregnant now because I have to do these other things. But what I hear from spirit is that it's actually going to help things move a bit faster because now you're getting to the underlying issue or what's going on, okay? I don't like to say issue, but the cause, right? You're getting to the root cause here of what's happening and what's going on. So let's see what we have here coming through. All right, for you. Um, so, 
clarifying the ace of swords we have the um hangman the perspective card it says there's a better way pause for reflection and insight dare to be different so definitely doing things different okay in your recent recent past this um this new idea that was given to you, the suggestion, maybe someone spoke it, said it to you, maybe your doctor suggested it, maybe you were immediately against it, and maybe you walked away from them like, no. <laughs> or maybe your partner said something, maybe we should do this, maybe we should do that, and you were like, mm, no, okay? Um, could be even a procedure for your partner, okay? Maybe they have a varicose cell vein, or like, you know, what is it called, varicose vein? No, it's not, it's varicose cell, yeah. So maybe they have something that could be a block that is like an in and out procedure or maybe there is you're thinking about getting like a um, a reversal I think it's like a tubal litigation I forgot what it's called or um, you know maybe you read previously how your tubes tied or maybe your partner had the snip snip you know and you guys are gonna get a reversal but whatever it is here spirit is saying like there's a better way okay pause for reflection and really see what the best I the best um, plan or idea may be for your journey, your body, your partner's body, and both of you guys moving forward, okay? And I feel like um, Spirit is like, before you say no, okay, pause and reflect here. And I do feel like that is something that may have recently happened. Maybe you guys had a conversation or maybe you decided to look further into this new method, which is why we have the Eight of Cups here, which you walking away from what you were previously doing. Below that, we have nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical and wise advice. So with the Queen of Cups here, excuse me, sometimes I burp when spirit is speaking to me and it seems like that's happening in this pile. <laughs> um, but with the Queen of Cups here, I do see that there you're being asked to move very practically, okay? The Queen of Cups, I'm sorry, the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is a practical energy. She is someone who is also very nurturing. Um, she's very loving, okay? She's a mother within the cards here. Um, and I do also see that during this time you're being asked to not only nurture yourself but those you love okay and i feel like this is being gentle with both you and your partner um and know that you have the ability okay and whatever this method is this idea that you have about your journey i want you to actually take a deep breath right now i want you to pause and reflect i want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale out of your mouth And I want you to do it one more time in through your nose and out through your mouth. And if you're able to, I want you to close your eyes if you're able to do so safely. And I want you to really feel, I want you to kind of go into that headspace of yours, okay? It's not crowded, it's not, it's it's very loosely filled, okay? You have space to walk around and greet every single idea that you have in your head, okay? There's more than enough room for you to walk down each path. There's more than enough room for you to walk towards each idea. And I want you to walk, if you can, in your mind, walk to each idea that you have had surrounding your fertility journey. And I want you to feel the energy surrounding that idea. Maybe you see a color, maybe you see an aura surrounding that idea. Maybe red means stay away. Maybe green means healing or yellow means hope and renewal. You know, whatever it may mean for you. I want you to feel what that idea may mean for you. And then I want you to look further beyond that idea down the road, okay? Just see like this road falling behind the idea kind of look around it, okay, whatever this visual idea is. For example, if it's um, doing IUI, maybe you see a, um, like a, what is that thing called? Like a little um, table, a, a, what is it? Like a, I keep saying restaurant table, but it's not restaurant. What is it called? A doctor's table, right? Where you're laying on the table, preparing for your IUI procedure. Maybe you see that as your visual for IUI. I want you to look around that visual behind it, and I want you to see the outcome of you, just allow spirit to give you the outcome of you to doing that method, okay? What is the outcome? Do you see a happy family behind that? Do you see you laughing? Do you see you, or do you see yourself crying? What is it that you see, okay? Allow spirit to show you the outcome. Ask spirit to show you the outcome. Now, this, of course, is something that 
you know, it's something that you have to do on your own and you have to fill on your own and you need to trust your intuition as to what those messages are telling you. But hopefully this helps you see that you have multiple options to reaching your desire and that each one, okay, has the ability to make your path more beautiful and more successful. And what do we know? The next card that we have here is the Seven of Cups, okay? It says, time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action, a need for detoxification. So, oh my gosh, and look at all these. I didn't even see that we have buckets full of color here. Okay, so choose a color that resonates with um, pregnancy for you. For me, it would be green. And I would ask Spirit, show me the aura color of green or show me green surrounding whichever modality that I need to move forward towards. Maybe you see a picture of a sword for IVF or for a medical procedure. Um, maybe you see a pregnant belly. Are you rubbing someone else's pregnant belly for surrogacy? You know, maybe you see um, a picture of a home for adoption. Like ask spirit what it is and this doesn't have to be specifically for your journey right now maybe this you can even use this for further down the line if you want to become a foster mom or you want to adopt children or you want to use a surrogate or a donor you know this can be used in many different ways to help you be clear and become clear about the decision that you want to make of the decisions that um it's going to help lead you to your ninth cup okay spirit is saying in your um, near future, you're going to have to make a decision, okay? You're going to need to be clear on what it is that you want so that you can take action on it. Allow yourself to detox, okay? Detox your mind is what's happening here. There's a lot of mental conflict. There's a lot of confusion here with the Five of Swords. There's a lot of disagreements, okay? Um, internally, and I feel externally as well. So definitely do, you know, whatever. If it's not what I just said, um, do whatever method feels best to help bring in some clarity for you. Now I'm gonna pull an oracle card here because I want to see what message we have. Truth, wow. So Spirit is saying that it is time for you to see the truth, okay? It's time for you to view the truth. That's what we have the Ace of Swords here for. There is definitely a better way. It's time to reflect, okay, and, and pay attention to the insights that you are being given. Okay, dare to be different. You are meant to conceive this baby in a different way. There's something non-traditional that is meant to occur that is going to help you conceive this little one, okay, and bring balance to your journey here. But truth, this is the truth, spirit. It's like, this is the truth. <laughs> when I split the deck here, we had disagreement and two different directions. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. There, you could even narrow it down to two different paths you want to take. Um, and I'm hearing follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> so you can even visualize that or visualize like Candyland, the, like the map there, okay? And see, once again, ask her to show you beyond the decision and see what each decision may entail, okay? Moving forward, maybe do some research on each one, okay? Learn more about it and trust your intuition. But don't stay in your head too long, okay? Because a decision is definitely necessary. Now let's see what other messages we have here to close out your reading with. I hope this is bringing you some great insight, Goddess, okay? Um, so the first thing we have here that Spirit really wants you to pay attention to um, and to eliminate and detoxify are your limiting beliefs, okay? And that's why we have the message of um, the ability to make anything more beautiful, okay? Because um, that's exactly what um, you possess, okay? You have, wow, we have indecisive make up your mind on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> but um, you have the ability to make anything and everything more beautiful with the decisions that you make, no matter what your decision may be, okay? We have passion, love, and compassion. Be gentle with yourself, okay? That nurturing energy, once again, for both you and your partner. Be gentle with yourself as you make this decision because this is something that is definitely going to affect your life. Don't play small, right? And that may be why you are having such a hard time moving forward because you know once you make that decision, you've made that decision, right? And you're in it to win it. Um, but I feel like Spirit is definitely wanting you to be more compassionate with yourself, more understanding with the emotions that you have surrounding the decisions, more understanding with the limiting beliefs that you have gained or that you have learned or um, experienced over the past months, years, or however long you've been trying. Um, 
just be gentle with yourself here we also have five days five weeks five months okay so i feel like this could be in regards to timing this there could be some significance within the next five days for some of you for others five weeks okay and five months is really standing out so the next five months may be um significant maybe five to seven months may be significant surrounding making this decision maybe you give yourself another five months to try naturally excuse me, and then you decide to go with a procedure or maybe within the next five weeks, you're going to have a procedure done that may lead to a five month journey. Um, but there's something about that timing that is significant for your journey, okay? So that is what I have for my beautiful pile two goddesses. Thank you so much for trusting me with your messages. I hope that, you know, your spirit baby came through with some guidance that can help you at this time, help you move forward. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this message or if it resonated with you, how it resonates with you, what you were able to take away from it. I always love to hear that as well. Um, and I'm sending you so much love, light, and of course, baby dust. Bye. Hello, beautiful fertility goddesses that have chosen pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Now, this message is a message of love, message of reflection, guidance, insight from your spirit baby, and hopefully some confirmation as well maybe be in there. Um, but this is a collective read, so please take the messages as they resonate. This is timeless, so whenever you see it, you are meant to see it, okay? Um, but I'm ready to jump in. Are you? <laughs> I'm ready to dive into your read. We have your first message here. Um, we're actually going to get, let me shuffle a little bit. We're going to get two more cards. All of a sudden, I wanted eggs, okay, like scrambled eggs, so that could be significant for someone. Um, there could also be a message here coming in for you surrounding um, your eggs, like ovaries, okay, like your your eggs, okay, something maybe about AMH or something about like um, your like ovulation period maybe approaching or there could be something that maybe you're taking medication to help you induce ovulation, um, maybe you're taking certain supplements to help with ovulation induction or doing natural remedies for that. Um, but there's something about ovulation that's coming through our eggs. You could also be craving eggs, okay? Maybe you're having an egg craving here. Um, let's see. We're going to get two more cards that for your path, but I want to see on the bottom of the deck, we have the tower card here, okay? So I do see that there may be in this current energy, you may be feeling like things are like shooken up, okay? Or maybe there was a recent like um, shift or change that was unexpected in your journey, or it could be something to come. But we are gonna, we're gonna clarify here. We're gonna see, uh, I'm actually going, no, let's leave it in. I'm gonna see what, um, what messages we have for you today from your spirit baby. Ooh. Thank goodness I caught it. This is your second card, and let's get one more before we get started. Now, the Tower card, okay, may not message may not resonate with everybody, could be resonate with some, okay. Now, surrounding ovulation, this could be that maybe you're still waiting for ovulation and it's taking longer than it usually does. Maybe it's just been a sudden change um, all of a sudden, and you're you know you're not getting your your positive test, and you're in the waiting game. We do have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, so definitely could be a waiting game here. Um, for others, it could be that you're going to ovulate randomly, okay, so it's important to track your cycle. Now, let's see what we have here as your message. So, we have the Knight of Wands, we have the Four of Swords, and we have the Four of Pentacles. So, four is really significant, okay, in your journey, okay, what I, is what I see here, first of all. Um, I do feel quick movement here around the Knight of Wands, this feels like it's in your recent past. So I feel like maybe you have been baby dancing a lot, or maybe there is something here with the Knight of Wands where you're taking a lot of action, okay, in your journey. Now you're moving into this space of rest, okay? Ah, okay. Ooh, excuse me, spirit. Oh my goodness. I keep burping. Sorry. So I... In advance and apologize in advance I burp sometimes and if you listen to a video from me you may have noticed or heard me live you may have noticed that I burp sometimes the spirit is speaking to me so I apologize in advance um, but what I'm seeing here is that the energy this spirit is showing me energies here the energy surrounding your previous part of your journey um, versus what's to come is a lot quicker 
than what was ha is what's happening in your, your recent past, okay? Right now, I feel like you're in this waiting period. Right now, I feel like things may be moving kind of slowly or maybe you've taken a break even and you're trying to see what's to come for your near future. If you haven't taken a break, I just feel like you are, like, like I said, in this waiting period, okay? You've been putting, you put in a lot of work in the recent past. You've invested a lot into your journey. You've invested your time, your energy, maybe even financially into your path and right now you're in the waiting period for some of you guys you may have done like a procedure maybe you've done IVF or you're in your two-week wait okay it doesn't have to be a procedure but it could just be you're in your two-week wait you're trying to see if pregnancy is is coming in okay here um and i see here moving forward i do with the four of pentacles i do feel like it could be possible here okay with the four of pentacles energy that there could be um pregnancy but i also see that there's an energy surrounding like um trying to hold on to something but i want to clarify first before i move into these messages i want to clarify what we have we have the seven of pentacles we have the ten of cups and we have the fool so i do see that you are going to have this beautiful pregnancy that you're hoping for um definitely with the seven of pentacles showing me that you're in a waiting period now but with the ten of cups okay this is showing me a happy family and with the full card this is showing me a brand new beginning as well as a beautiful baby baby okay so um i do see there's children on the ten of cups we have the full energy i do see that pregnancy as possible here moving forward especially if you are experiencing fatigue okay there's something about fatigue being a pregnancy symptom i was craving eggs a few seconds ago okay so you could also be craving breakfast food as an early pregnancy um symptom so that is also something um fatigue and headaches okay i'm also hearing headaches um, but there's also this lost energy that I'm feeling around the four of pentacles, okay, um, in the future. I do feel like there may be certain things that you have to do or certain people that you may be connecting with in early pregnancy or in your near future that are going to help bring in stability surrounding your journey. So for example, if you're pregnant, this may be you connecting with your doctor, them checking your levels, making sure they're rising properly, you getting maybe progesterone or some other supplement or medication to help you along through your first trimester. Um, but there's something there about, um, about you working with someone or there's just helping someone coming in are you doing something to help bring stability to your your pregnancy um or to your journey moving forward now i'm going to clarify here the knight of wands the sea spirit what do we have here for this first card what is the clarification card for the knight of wands let's see here definitely fast movement um excitement is also what what i feel with this card okay what is the card for clarification clarifying card for the four of swords spirit the number four is also significant okay i do feel like the fourth month of the year could be important okay i'm also actually connecting like march april energy so if you're watching this when i posted this which is in the end of march going into april these two months could be significant for you okay um but they don't have to be the next four weeks could also be significant in your journey depending on when you see this this is a timeless reading okay so maybe you're in your it could be the fourth week of your cycle where you are getting ready to test for pregnancy or could be within the next four weeks you find out that you're pregnant okay or that you conceive oh my gosh we have the four of wands here more for energy for some of you guys it could be within four days <laughs> okay oh my goodness okay wow your hard work is definitely paying off is what spirit is saying here your investments whatever this is whatever you've invested it's definitely paying off okay definitely here i love it and what is this one? Oh, two, one okay all right, let me not be nosy. Okay, so with the Knight of Wands, we have the Will card. Okay, it says new beginnings, end of delays, a change of direction that offers happiness. Yeah, so I feel like in your recent past, you made some changes, you made some shifts, um, you took action towards something that would bring you joy and happiness. This action could also be baby dancing, like I said. I did feel that energy earlier too, very fast paced. And then all of a sudden, it just like cuts off. But I feel like it's because you're in a waiting period because now you're either pregnant or you You've already surpassed your um this feels very like zoop. this doesn't feel long and drawn out like this is over months this feels like zoop. 
like we're talking about this cycle or the next few cycles, this that's what that this feels like. This feels like one cycle here, okay? Like I feel like baby dancing in the two week wait, pregnant. <laughs> okay, so pregnancy could be happening quickly for you. It may have been a long journey, but I feel like you're moving into a very fertile period if you're not already in that fertile period. So make sure you're tracking your cycle, you're listening to the signals and signs your body is sending you. Um, you know, you may be having cravings at this time, or you may be experiencing certain pregnancy symptoms at this time. Um, because I feel like in the recent past, you were like baby dancing a lot, or you were tracking your cycle, you were taking action, you were doing the things necessary for things to get Move in, okay. You may have even done oops, you may have even done some things to um like help your cervical mucus be um what is it like more fertile, okay? Like have egg white cervical mucus, egg whites. Oh my gosh, okay. So there's something about like um that that's coming through, or there could be like I said, eggs as in your ovulation period. Maybe you're in your ovulation period. Spirit is like baby dance, baby dance, baby dance, okay? Or maybe you have done some things to really heighten your libido or this could be your partner heightening their libido um or you guys just really being on like all over each other like bunnies okay like there's something here about that but i do see okay that by you taking this action whatever it may be whether it was taking certain supplements medication baby dancing tracking your cycle whatever this action that you recently did and you put this energy and time into or even money um it is paying off okay it is actually ending the delays that you have previously had in your journey and it's actually helping you move forward with the will of fortune it's helping push you into a new beginning here okay a time of celebration with this four of wands it says abundant rewards for hard work release yourself from burdensome situations so what you have done okay you have literally given yourself this this peace of mind is what I'm hearing, okay, with the four of swords energy. Because you did whatever you did in the recent past or because you're in that, and you could be in that energy right now, moving into this four of swords energy. And, and I, for those who this message resonates with, okay, you're like right now, you're like, oh my gosh, like I am, you know, taking certain, You maybe I am taking certain medication that is helping me ovulate or, oh yeah, I am, we are baby dancing or, oh yeah, I am tracking my cycle or I am paying attention to the cervical, my cervical fluids, like, like, you know, those for this that this message resonates with, like you're already in this space of like, oh yeah, I am doing that. Or maybe you're like, oh, I have that idea that I should, you know, boom, boom, boom. Maybe I should do that. You know, get on it. It's what I feel like. You have this passion, this fire behind you that like really wants you to like just take action. So take action because it's going to pay off. Okay. Maybe you're going to pay to have some sort of, you know, pay for some medication or pay for a procedure or pay for something you're investing into taking some sort of action towards your journey that is going to bring you a lot of peace of mind whether it's through the results that you receive such as like if you're going to get a procedure done maybe it's going to tell you that your tubes are clear or maybe you know you're going to receive a peace of mind from tracking your cycle because now you know for sure that you pinned your ovulation or maybe you purchased a device like the um, oval sense device or the meta device or um, um, what are some other ones, guys? Leave them in the comments. <laughs> but like maybe you use a fertility tracker um, this past cycle and that gave you a peace of mind because you were able to see that, yes, absolutely, I pinpoint my most fertile period. The cake, how could I forget the cake? I'm using cake and Ovisins and I love them both. Um, and so maybe you're using one of those devices and you invested in that and now you're it's paying off, okay? Um, but what I do see is moving forward, you are going to have many, many celebrations. It says success that comes from objective compromise self-control and patience forgiving and healing energy so yeah you're you're gonna be in a waiting period moving forward here okay um you may already be inching into that space and that could be why you're here but i do see success is surrounding you okay we have like i said the ten of cups and the full card showing me that pregnancy is very close okay within the next couple of months you are entering into this new beginning um and for some it may not happen this cycle but it may happen within the next few cycles the next four to be exact we have four here three times okay um so it could be within the next three to four cycles for those who are not you know um who may not conceive this cycle could be between now and the next four cycles. Um, I also see the temperance energy, which is showing me that um, 
what is it, that Sagittarius season it may be significant, okay? Um, and the Wheel of Fortune is also Sagittarius season. So I see both of these energies here um, showing me December could be significant. So if you are watching this around December, maybe you'll be conceiving that month. Or maybe if you're watching it around the time that I dropped this, which is the end of March, maybe you'll be conceiving this month and finding out you're pregnant and due in March. I mean, and due in, <laughs> in December, okay? Um, could be the month before. It could also be the month after November through January okay um, so that or maybe even February even going into that space a bit um, so I do see that here for my goddesses for pile number three that is so exciting okay a lot of this may be just confirmation for you um, or just encouragement to take action um, at this time because it's going to pay off okay let's get another message I'm gonna get a oracle card message for you okay let's see what is your oracle message right now Let's see for pile number three. Empathy. Oh my goodness. I've never, I have not seen this card yet in this deck. Empathy. Okay. So empathic, to be empathic. Um, I feel like this is about you <laughs> and it's a turtle. Okay. So I feel like it's about, you know, things moving slow, but I feel like this is really about your recent past. Okay. I feel like spirit is talking about, um, like, um, what is the saying? Spirit is like right on the tip of my tongue. Um, slow and steady wins the race. Okay. That is what I feel here. I feel like you were waiting for some time for this to finally happen for you. Okay. You put in the work, you put in the investment, and now you are approaching your time. We even have here self-control and patience for the temperance energy showing me that there is more waiting to come. Okay. But it, you will be successful. Okay. Um, so definitely hold on to your um, your feelings. Um, I feel like, I don't, I really don't know. Let's see here. I'm going to pull another card because with empathy, I'm not really picking up anything with empathy. Um, when I think of empathy, I think of like having empathy for others. Huh. Gotcha. Okay, so Spirit is saying the empathy message is about, um, we have macro, macrocosm that came out after, um, but macrocosm is like the big picture, seeing the big picture, viewing the big picture, um, but with empathy, Spirit is saying that this is about that forgiving and healing energy, okay, um, and so I feel like you're being asked to just that, okay, um, forgive um, anything that is sitting on your heart at this time, anything that may be making you feel nervous or anything that may be bringing in doubt for you, um, anyone, if this is around a person that is not yourself, forgiving them, okay, and their energy, if they've said something, people that you have, um, this is, this feels like the final like this is the final countdown. This feels like the end of this journey for you, of this TTC journey. Now you're moving into pregnancy. So this feels like you're doing your last like hoorah, okay? Like you are, it's time for you to heal. It is time for you to release. It is time for you to connect, reconnect with your heart center um, and let go of the pain and let go of the words that may have been told to you that may have provided limiting beliefs into your journey are added limiting beliefs because we don't need anyone, anyone else to add them for us, right? We have enough ourselves, but there may have been other people, doctors and guides that were supposed to help you but did not. And it's time to let all of that go, okay, is what I'm hearing this message is here. That has been a journey for you, is what I'm hearing. And what Spirit wants you to do is to do a review. Spirit wants you to um, see where you've come from and where you're going and where you are now and how far you have come, okay? Um, that is so important. I want to see um, what other messages we have here coming from you using my homemade Disney Princess deck, okay? Um, but also, I feel with the empathy message, it's just about your feelings. It's about reconnecting with your heart chakra. It's about feeling, okay? Feeling, listening to your heart, um, and not allowing it to, like, drag you down or hold you down in any sense, but um, 
Oh, <laughs> but more the less of guide you, okay? Guide you throughout your path moving forward. Don't be afraid to feel. Don't be afraid to love. Uh, don't be afraid to accept and forgive. Um, you know, all of that. Connecting with your heart chakra is so important. We have baby girl that came out as the first card here, okay? So there could be a baby girl that's coming in for some of you guys, okay? Um, and we have six days, six weeks, and six months here, okay? So it could be within the next six days to six weeks that you find out that you're pregnant, okay? Um, like I said, I do sell the next three to four months for most of you guys, um, but could also be in regards to um, six months, okay? We did have that. We have also take a break, okay? So I like I said, I feel like you are like done with this phase, okay? It's like, it's like, this, whatever this is that you're moving away from, if it's you're moving into pregnancy, so you're done with the TTC phase, like you're you're breaking off from that energy. Or if this is like you've been like waiting and waiting and waiting and it's delays and delay after delay, you're now moving fast into a, um, into a like fast pace energy, okay? Um, I also feel like here, Okay, with the Four of Pentacles and with the, um, the the Temperance energy. Okay, like I said, there is a minor weight, um, but oh my gosh, yes, letting go of limited beliefs, absolutely. Um, there is a minor weight here, but an emotional healing needed. But it's nothing like the weight that you had previously. Okay. Nothing like it at all. Let's get one more message we have here. Signs and synchronicities. So your baby may actually be sending you signs and synchronicities. For some, it may be a, um, what is this thing? A frog, okay, or a turtle. Okay, could be a chameleon as well. I'm looking at the green, the green little creatures there. Chameleon, um, a turtle, or a um, frog, okay. Let's see. And then we also have two days, two weeks, and two months. So that could also be a time frame of conception. You may also see angel number 222 or 444. And look at this on the bottom of the deck, approaching the end of a tough cycle. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this message was meant to guide you and give you the insight necessary to let you know that you are approaching the end of this tough cycle, that the waiting game is over, okay, or it's coming to an end, or will be coming to an end very soon. The actions that you put into your journey previously um, have literally, okay, brought you to where you are today, and they will continue to take you all the way to your beautiful baby, okay? Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that your body is sending you around the time of conception, around the time of our ovulation, around the time of conception, maybe early pregnancy symptoms, like you may have cravings and certain things, fatigue, um, certain things like that, but also allow you, give yourself some time to heal. Give your time to heal emotionally. Give your sign, yourself time to heal mentally, releasing limiting beliefs and doubt. Give your, yourself some time to rest, okay, as you wait. There could definitely be anxiety surrounding this waiting period um, because I feel like you're waiting for results or you're waiting for, you know, um, you're waiting for some, you know, the answers in terms of fertility or pregnancy. But I do see here that you're being asked to give yourself that time um, to reconnect with your heart space feel into your emotions. Don't be afraid to feel, okay? And allow yourself to heal and forgive yourself, forgive others, okay? And be patient with yourself and with others. Um, so that is what I have for you. That is what I have for you, my beautiful pile number three. I hope that this message brought you some insight and guidance and clarity, okay? Um, like I said, I do see pregnancy happening very soon for most of you. This is collective, so it won't be everyone, but there is a very fertile, very fertile energy surrounding this pile right now. Um, and I feel like this is long awaited for you, okay? Very long awaited. Um, for some, it may be baby girl. We also have the full card. Could be baby boy, but it could be baby girl here, I feel, okay? And then the full card, I feel, is more so timing. We have the Ten of Cups and a baby girl energy, and then we have the baby, um, the full card showing me that there is a baby that's coming, okay? So, 
uh, that's what I have for you goddess that is what I have for you so let me know down below in the comment section how this resonates with you um, let me know what you were able to take away from it maybe not everything but something I hope <laughs> um, and if you feel called to any other pile don't hesitate to select it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video bye